With the Arctic blast set to take hold of our area, how you can protect yourself and have a good time at Raleigh's biggest New Year's party. A record crowd of 75,000 people is expected to hit downtown for first night Raleigh on New Year's Eve. And Jonah Kaplan giving us a preview first on Facebook live from the Ferris Will. He's joining us live now in downtown Raleigh. Jonah, we're expecting a lot of people to be right where you are tomorrow night. What did you learn? Hey, Dewan and Heather, good evening. I mean, right now here on Fayetteville Street, it is quiet. The road is still open. We know tomorrow night, though, this will be a completely packed scene, so much different than it is right now. Preparations underway, not just for organizers, but also emergency crews who realize that these, these temperatures could be very dangerous. It's sobering to think about how fast the years go by. But first night Raleigh seems to age very, very well. Just 4,000 people attended the first event back in 1992. No rides, no acorn, but there was some swing dancing. Now, the times they are a changing. There is nothing that makes a statement of excitement like putting up that Ferris wheel or putting up the rides, you know. Program director Terry Dollar says organizers want to provide that wow factor. There will be rides, mini golf, music, and dozens of food trucks. Behind the scenes, more than 300 staff and volunteers and a budget of $400,000. You have to hear something, you have to see something, you have to smell something, you have to feel something. So you want all of your senses to be tickled when you come into an event. Everyone attending will feel the cold, which is why nearly three dozen EMS crews will be stationed across downtown. Medics we spoke with explaining the warning signs for frostbite and hypothermia. And sometimes they can have a loss of sensation. Some people describe it as like a, uh, a needles or a tingling or a burning feeling to the skin. Another warning, beware drinking alcohol in the cold. It gives you that feeling of being comfortable and kind of the warm fuzzy feeling so to speak. And when you're outside and in these colder than normal temperatures, you can have that false sense of security. Raleigh police confirming its security presence, telling ABC 11, those in the department who are responsible for security and logistical planning consider and evaluate many factors, including events that have occurred elsewhere, as they make safety and staffing decisions. Now, the good news for many families or people that are going to come down here tomorrow night, there's a lot of activities, we know, outdoors, but there's also a lot going on indoors, not just at the Marbles Museum, but music going on in all the various churches. For a full rundown, we've got so many more resources online. Just check out this story, abc11.com. We're live here in downtown Raleigh. Happy New Year. Jonah Kaplan, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.